This is gonna blow your mind. You do not become influential on the world stage overnight by building a social media following. We are talking about geopolitical and macroeconomical influences where you put the world in your pocket. So how do you build and expand your sphere of world stage influence? Let's think one moment. Maybe by going to war, or maybe by converting people to your traditions and spirituality, or maybe by rewriting the narrative, or by expanding your soft power. Why not by sharing your technologies with others and empowering them? Is that better than trapping them with timeless debts to get them wrapped around your fingers? Just saying. Welcome to the Kimled YouTube channel. Today, we're diving headfirst into a topic that's blowing my mind. China's insane spending on mega projects. We're talking about the cool XL trillions dollars. Those are trillions with a T. It's like China looked at the world and said, hold my Tsingtao beer, watch this. We're not just talking about building a fancy skyscraper or two. We're talking about engineering feats that would make even Elon Musk say, dang, that's impressive. Think bridges longer than you can imagine. Islands built from scratch and trains that would give Usain Bolt a run for his money. Yeah, China's not messing around. But hold up, before you think this is just another China is so advanced episode, pump the brakes. This is about way more than just showing off. This is about China's ambition to reshape the world as we know it, or China bringing its brick to advance world civilizations and humankind evolution. And trust me, they're playing the long game. So, what exactly are we talking about when we say mega projects? We're talking about projects that make the Hoover Dam look like a child's plaything. Picture the Belt and Road Initiative, a colossal network of roads, railways, and ports stretching across continents. Envision a modern-day Silk Road, linking China to the world in ways never seen before. And then there's the South-North Water Transfer Project. China is literally redirecting entire rivers, moving trillions of gallons of water from the lush south to the arid north. It's as if nature said, hold my chopsticks, and China replied, challenge accepted. And let's not overlook the jaw-dropping engineering marvels like the Beijing Daxing International Airport, a futuristic mega airport larger than Manhattan. They've got robots managing your luggage, facial recognition at every corner, and enough terminals to leave you in awe. These projects aren't just impressive, they're revolutionary. They're designed to supercharge China's economy, project its influence, and transform global trade routes. But at what cost? Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, folks, this is all fascinating and stuff. But I live in, insert your country here. Why should I care about some bridges and airports in China? Here's the thing. These mega projects aren't just about China. They're about all of us. China's massive investment is already having a ripple effect across the globe, impacting everything from global trade to the environment. And these impacts are only going to get bigger and more complex as China continues its rise. So buckle up, folks. We're about to take a deep dive into the world of China's $2 trillion mega projects. We'll explore the engineering marvels, the economic implications, and the potential consequences, both good and bad. By the end of this, you'll understand why China's gamble on these mega projects is a big deal for all of us. Stay tuned. All right, folks, let's break down this whole mega project thing. We're not talking about your average construction project here. We're talking about projects so massive, so complex, that they make building the pyramids look like an afternoon DIY project. Think about it. These projects involve moving mountains, rerouting rivers, and connecting entire continents. They require cutting-edge technology, billions of dollars, and a whole lot of manpower. 
But it's not just about the size and scope. Mega projects are about making a statement. They're about a country flexing its engineering muscles and showing the world what it's capable of. And let me tell you, China's got some serious muscles. The why behind the wow, China's ambitions. So why is China pouring trillions of dollars into these mega projects? Well, the answer is pretty simple, ambition. China has big plans for the future, and these projects are a key part of making those plans a reality. First and foremost, China wants to become the world's leading economic superpower. And what better way to do that than by building the infrastructure that will facilitate global trade and commerce. But it's not just about the economy. These mega projects are also about projecting China's power and influence on the world stage. By investing in countries around the world, China is securing its place as a global leader. And let's not forget about the domestic benefits. These projects create jobs, boost local economies, and improve the lives of millions of Chinese citizens. It's a win-win for China, both at home and abroad. Example one, the Belt and Road, a modern Silk Road. Okay, let's get into some specifics. First up, we've got the Belt and Road Initiative, also known as the BRI. This is the big kahuna, the project that's got everyone talking. Imagine a modern day Silk Road, a network of roads, railways, pipelines, and ports stretching from China all the way to Europe, Africa, and beyond. That's the BRI in a nutshell. China is spending hundreds of billions of dollars to build this network, and it's easy to see why. The BRI has the potential to revolutionize global trade, making it easier and cheaper for China to do business with the rest of the world. But it's not just about economics. The BRI is also about strengthening China's ties with other countries, creating new alliances, and expanding its sphere of influence. It's a bold move, and only time will tell what the ultimate impact will be. Controlling Nature, the South-North Water Transfer Project. China's facing a serious water crisis. The North is thirsty, but the South has got all the H2O. They decided to move the water. This project involves building massive canals and tunnels to redirect water from the Yangtze River in the South to the parched North. But this project hasn't come without its critics. Environmentalists argue that it's disrupting ecosystems and displacing communities. All right, folks, let's talk airports. Let's talk about the Beijing Daxing International Airport. This place is a megastructure, a monument to modern engineering. It's over 700,000 square meters, the size of 100 soccer fields. They call it the Starfish because of its unique design. This airport is packed with futuristic technology, enough robots to make your head spin, connecting China to the world like never before. Now, let's talk about bridges, and I'm not talking about some rickety old thing. I'm talking about the longest sea crossing bridge in the world, the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge. This engineering marvel spans over 55 kilometers, connecting Hong Kong, Zhuhai, and Macau like never before. Imagine driving over the ocean, folks. This bridge is so long, you actually lose sight of land for a while. It's a mind-blowing experience and a testament to human ingenuity. It took over a decade to build, and it involved overcoming some serious engineering challenges, like typhoons and strong ocean currents. This bridge isn't just a pretty face, though. It's expected to boost economic growth in the region, making it easier for people and goods to move between these important cities. It's also a symbol of China's ambition to integrate Hong Kong and Macau more closely with the mainland. But like all mega projects, it comes with a hefty price tag, both financially and environmentally. We'll dive deeper into those consequences in a bit. Okay, we've seen the shiny new airports, the impressive bridges, but let's get real for a second. These mega projects come with a cost, a big one. 
We're talking trillions of dollars, folks. That's more money than most countries make in a decade. Some critics argue that this spending is unsustainable, that China is racking up massive debts that it may not be able to repay. They worry about a potential economic bubble and the global consequences if it were to burst. And then there's the environmental impact. Building these mega projects can have a devastating effect on ecosystems, displacing wildlife, polluting waterways, and contributing to climate change. It's a difficult trade-off, progress versus preservation. China argues that it's taking steps to mitigate these negative impacts, investing in renewable energy and implementing stricter environmental regulations. But is it enough? That's the billion dollar question. A world transformed, the impact of China's mega projects. China's mega projects are transforming the world. They're reshaping global trade routes and boosting economies. China's ambition is undeniable, reshaping the global balance of power. Some see it as a threat, while others see it as an opportunity. These mega projects are impacting everything from supply chains to geopolitics. Their influence is only going to grow. We're all connected to this massive web of infrastructure. Stay tuned, folks. The Economic Engine, How Mega Projects Fuel China's Growth. All right, folks, let's talk economics. China didn't drop $2 trillion on a whim. They're playing three-dimensional chess while everyone else is stuck on checkers. These mega projects are like giant concrete and steel economic engines designed to propel China to the top of the global food chain. Think about it. Building a massive bridge doesn't just look cool on postcards. It creates thousands of construction jobs, boosts demand for steel and cement, and stimulates local businesses. It's a chain reaction of economic activity. And once these projects are up and running, they become economic arteries, facilitating trade, tourism, and investment. The new airport handles millions of passengers a year, each one a potential consumer. The high-speed rail line connects cities and boosts productivity. It's like giving your economy a shot of adrenaline straight to the heart. Jobs, 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 putting millions to work. Let's talk about jobs, baby. One of the biggest arguments in favor of these mega projects is their potential to create employment on a massive scale. We're talking millions of jobs, folks, from engineers and architects to construction workers and support staff. Remember those bustling construction sites we talked about? Those are filled with people earning a living, supporting their families, and contributing to the economy. And it's not just about the initial construction phase. These projects require ongoing maintenance, operation, and management, creating a whole new ecosystem of jobs. China's facing some economic challenges, like a slowing growth rate and concerns about unemployment, especially among young people. These mega projects are part of their strategy to create jobs, boost incomes, and maintain social stability. It's about putting people to work and keeping the economic engine humming. from exports to investments, reshaping global trade. China's been the world's factory for decades, churning out everything from iPhones to sneakers. But here's the plot twist. They're not content with just being the world's manufacturer anymore. They wanna be the world's investor, the world's banker, the world's landlord. And guess what? These mega projects are a key part of that strategy. The Belt and Road Initiative, for example, isn't just about building roads and bridges. It's about creating new trade routes, opening up new markets for Chinese goods, and securing access to resources. China's investing billions of dollars in ports, railways, and energy projects in countries around the world. They're not just exporting products anymore. They're exporting their economic model, their influence, their vision for the future of global trade. It's a bold move, and it's shaking up the established order. Expert opinions. What the world thinks of China's gamble. Is China's mega project gamble going to pay off? Some say these projects are essential for growth, creating jobs and economic activity. 
Others warn of unsustainable debt and environmental damage. The truth is likely somewhere in the middle. It's a high stakes gamble and only time will tell. A double-edged sword, balancing growth with risk. So there you have it, folks. China's $2 trillion mega project spending spree is a complex and controversial issue. There's no doubt that these projects are impressive feats of engineering and ambition with the potential to reshape the global economic landscape. But they also come with significant costs, both financial and environmental. China's walking a tightrope trying to balance its desire for economic growth and global influence with the need for sustainability and responsibility. It's a delicate balancing act, and the stakes are incredibly high. The world is watching closely, eager to see if China can pull it off. Will these mega projects usher in a new era of Chinese prosperity and global leadership, or will they lead to economic instability and environmental disaster? China's century, a future forged in steel and concrete? Let's get real, folks. China is playing the long game. When they build a bridge, they're not just connecting two points on a map. They're building a pathway to a future where China calls the shots. It's ambitious, it's audacious, and it's happening right before our eyes. Imagine a world where the yuan rivals the dollar, where made in China is synonymous with cutting edge technology and where China's voice is the loudest in the room on issues like climate change, trade, and global security. These mega projects aren't just about boosting the economy today. They're about securing China's place as the dominant global power of the 21st century. It's about writing the next chapter in human history, and they're using concrete, steel, and a whole lot of ambition to do it. The debt dragon awakens, a looming economic crisis. But hold up, folks. Before we crown China the rulers of the future, let's talk about the elephant in the room, debt. China's been spending money like it's going out of style, and those bills are starting to pile up. Some experts warn that China's on the verge of a debt crisis, that their economy is built on a foundation of borrowed money, and that the whole thing could come crashing down if they're not careful. Imagine a domino effect where one failed project triggers a chain reaction, leading to bank collapses, a plummeting currency, and a global recession. It's a scary thought, and it's one that keeps economists up at night. China argues that they've got it under control, that their debt levels are manageable, and that their economy is strong enough to weather any storm. But can they really defy the laws of economic gravity forever? Only time will tell. The environmental price tag, can progress and preservation coexist? Let's not forget about the environmental cost of all this progress. You can't build mega projects on this scale without leaving a mark on the planet. And some argue that China's environmental footprint is already too big to ignore. Think about it. Building a dam floods entire valleys, displacing communities and wildlife. Constructing a highway carves through forests and disrupts ecosystems, and all that concrete and steel, it doesn't exactly grow on trees. China's facing a dilemma. How do you become an economic superpower without sacrificing the environment? Can they find a way to balance economic growth with environmental sustainability, or are they doomed to repeat the mistakes of other industrialized nations? The world is watching, hoping that China will choose a different path one where progress doesn't come at the expense of the planet. The world watches and wonders China's global impact. Here's the thing, folks. What China does matters to all of us. We live in an interconnected world, and China's actions have ripple effects across the globe. Whether it's the clothes we wear, the electronics we use, or the global supply chains that bring goods to our shelves, China's influence is everywhere. And as they continue to invest in mega projects, their influence is only going to grow. Some countries welcome China's investment, seeing it as an opportunity for economic development and infrastructure improvements. 
Others are more wary, concerned about China's growing power and its implications for global security and stability. One thing's for sure, China's mega-projects are forcing the world to pay attention, to rethink its relationship with this rising giant, and to consider the potential consequences, both positive and negative, of China's rise to global dominance. The legacy of ambition, a $2 trillion question mark. So there you have it, folks. We've journeyed through the heart of China's $2 trillion mega-project gamble, a story of ambition, engineering marvels, and a relentless pursuit of global influence. We've seen the gleaming airports, the record-breaking bridges, and the sheer scale of China's vision for the future. But we've also glimpsed the potential downsides, the looming shadow of debt, the environmental trade-offs, and the geopolitical tensions that China's rise is stirring up. It's a complex picture, full of contradictions and uncertainties. The question remains, will this massive bet pay off for China? Will these mega-projects cement their status as the world's leading superpower, or will they become cautionary tales of overreach and unintended consequences? The answer, like most things in life, is rarely black and white. It's a gamble, a high-stakes game of economic poker, with the world watching every hand. And as the chips pile up, the stakes only get higher. the future in a global conversation. China's mega-projects are shaping the world around us. From the clothes we wear to global supply chains, China's influence is undeniable. This is a story about all of us. The decisions China makes today will have ripple effects globally. Stay informed, stay engaged, dig deeper, ask questions, engage in thoughtful conversations. The future is something we create together. Dialogue and understanding are key. This is Kim Lid Channel. Stay curious, stay engaged. Peace.